about morning routines. So morning routines in the most part are set up so that you hit the ground running at your most productive state of mind every morning, okay? That's not how my morning routine is set up. My morning routine is about me reclaiming and standing strong in my power ahead of the day beginning. So let's talk about the different sections in my morning. Let me explain to you why I have those sections in my, in my morning to set me up for the day ahead. Okay, so step one is really about reclaiming my power, reclaiming your power. So when we get up in the morning, what we don't want is we don't want to start the day with a lot of lingering, stagnant energy from the day before or from the past. Or what we don't want to be doing is waking up with energy that we have absorbed that belongs to someone else. So what we really want to be doing is starting the day in our own energy. Okay, so this is always the first thing that I do. Okay, so what I do is I start with a cleanse. Okay, so I start with an energetic cleanse. I do um, some cleansing mantras. I might do a cleansing meditation. I will use my selenite to just cleanse any negative energy away from my aura. I will command the universe to release any negative energy to transmute it to the light, to take it away from me. And I will also ask the universe to return any energy that I am holding back to sender. The point being is like I said, I wanna start the day with just a clear slate, just stepping into the day just as 100% me, not any lingering energy from yesterday, not any lingering energy from a week ago, not any energy from anyone in my household or someone who I um, connected with via social media yesterday or anything like that. I want to make sure that when I enter my new fresh day, that I am doing that from my own energy, not anything else. So I have a couple of mantras, I have a couple of rituals, I have a couple of bits and pieces, like a little, a little kind of, well, ritual, a little routine that I go through that allows me to know and to feel comfortable that I am, it is just me. It is just me, it's just my aura, it's just my energy, okay? And in doing that, in that same process, I also just work through my chakras and make sure my chakras are balanced. I make sure I am grounded and I make sure that, that I am starting my day from that strong point. Okay, and it's really worth mentioning at this point that when you are wanting to start your day in your own energy, you want to be staying off social media, emails, all that kind of stuff. Because as they travel into your world, into your ethos, they bring with them an energy. So we've all been there, right? We've opened up Facebook, we've been feeling pretty good. We open up Facebook and somebody is kind of moaning about something about like not having enough money, moaning about how they feel that day, that kind of thing. That energy is coming into your world. It's coming into your aura and you're absorbing that. So it's really worth mentioning that as you're going through your morning routine, until you you get to the end of your morning routine, you really don't want to be allowing anyone else's energy in. Okay? Okay, so we've gone through the process of releasing any, any energy that doesn't belong to us. We're not taking on any energy that doesn't belong to us. We've cleared the negative energy. We've returned to sender anything that we have absorbed. So now we're going to reconnect to who we are. We're going to remember who we are and what our purpose is. Now, I do that by, first of all, I have an infinite purpose and my infinite purpose is to live a happier, healthier, more abundant, energetically led, extraordinary life every day. So I reconnect to that. I kind of 
think about that infinite purpose. Think how, think about what it means to me. Think about how that's going to feel when, when I feel like the most healthy I possibly can, the most happy I possibly can, when I'm led by the energy, no matter what, you know, I lean into that. I remember my purpose. I remember what I want out of every single day. And then I reconnect to myself, my higher purpose, my higher self, my soul, who I truly am. And this is the woman underneath all the layers and the conditions and the beliefs that I have built up over the years. And the way that I reconnect with that is through a meditation, through a visualization, where I move through the dimensions and I go and I meet with myself the higher, the most expansive version of me. And that is what I call my extraordinary self. Extraordinarily me, extraordinarily you, the extraordinary woman that you were born to be, that I was born to be. So I reconnect with her so that I am, I've cleared the decks, I'm a clear canvas energetically. And then when I've started to paint the picture of my day, I have started with me, who I am, who I am at the soul, at my soul and what my purpose, my my infinite purpose in life is. And I'm starting to paint the picture of my day right there with that. Okay, step three, release stagnant energy. Okay, so obviously we've done the kind of the cleanse, we've cleansed the aura, we've done that. But what happens is, is we get stagnant energy in the body. So feelings, emotions, all that kind of stuff, we hold on to them in our body and that sits within our body. Now, our body has its own toxin removal system, okay? The lymphatic system, okay? So everything that we absorb, be it energy, be it food, be it um, pollutants in the environment, all that kind of stuff that we absorb, the body takes in, and it processes and it gets rid of the stuff that it doesn't want. So anything that's a toxin that it's like, whoa, this isn't going to serve me, I'm going to push it into the drainage system, okay? So all those things that your body can't process, that your body can't glean the slightest little bit of use from, it will push into the drainage system, okay? Your lymphatic drainage system. Now, that lymphatic drainage system doesn't have a pump mechanism right so when you think about blood moving around your body your heart pumps that blood around your body is constantly moving around your body your lymphatic system doesn't have a pump pumping stuff out so it has to move around the body to get to where it needs to get to to be removed okay and so what the way that you get that energy moving that lymph move moving that drainage system moving is by moving your body it's by exercising it's by getting some movement okay when you start moving your body actually starts to pump this lymphatic system around and it gets rid of any stagnant energy now the reason you don't want to hold on to stagnant energy right you've cleansed your aura you've got rid of everything okay you've you've reconnected to who you are okay and if you say three weeks ago <laughs> This is kind of being a bit extreme to kind of explain it. If you, two day, so yesterday, <laughs> let's not be extreme. So yesterday, right, let's say something happened and it created an energy within you, okay? And you've suppressed that and you've pushed that down, okay? Because you don't want to feel it. And you've pushed it down and it will go to one of your organs. It might go to a knee joint. It goes into your body and it sits in your body. And even if you clear your aura and even if you cleanse daily, you know, if you've suppressed it and you've pushed it down into your body, it's in your body. And when it sits there and when it stays there and it's a negative energy for a long time, it will start to manifest manifest and cause issues, aches, pains, disease, things like that. So we need to be getting these things out of the body, okay? So you've cleansed, you've started to move that stuff away from you, okay? You've reconnected to yourself. Now let's get that body moving. Let's pump that energy around the system. Let's get rid of what we don't want, okay? Instead of holding on to it. Okay, we're now on to step four. Okay, and step four is all about replenishing. 
okay? So we've cleansed, we've reconnected to, your, to ourselves, we've moved all that stagnant energy. Now it's time to replenish. It's to give the body, mind and soul what it needs, okay? So let's start putting some good stuff into the body. So eating healthy food, not starting your day with a glucose spike. That is one of the worst things that you can do for your own energy is to start your day with a glucose spike. And yet it's what we've been taught to do in society, okay? We start the day with sugary cereals. If it's not sugary cereals, even if we're being healthy, the chances are we're starting the day with granola, with honey, with things like that. We're giving ourselves a glucose spike to start the day, which is one of the worst things that we can do. The glucose spike sets off a chain reaction in the body where you are are constantly feeling the need for that spike, that sugar spike, you're setting off that train, chain reaction. The more glucose spikes you actually get in the day, the more you will age and the quicker you will age because every single one of those glucose spikes affects your your cells, your DNA structure. So the more glucose spikes you get during the day, the quicker you will age. So we want to slow that down, okay? So we want to be making sure that the food that we're taking in not only is supporting the body, that it's supporting the mind, that it's supporting the soul and your energetic frequency, okay? If you are... Um, <sighs> eating, say, white bread, right? White bread. You're, let's say you're having white toast for breakfast. Okay, first of all, that flour, that, that product itself that's created the toast, that's created the bread, has been processed and processed and processed and processed. And every time it's processed, more life force is taken out of it, out of it, out of it, out of it. So when you are eating that toast, you are pretty much just eating like a piece of cardboard. It's not really supporting you really in any way other than just maybe getting rid of that hunger pan, right? So we really need to be kind of thinking about the life force energy in the food, what it's doing to us from a physical perspective, how it's supporting our body, how it's supporting our mind, how it's supporting our soul. And, for, and the most important thing when you're living an energetic life is how it is supporting your energy, your frequency, okay? So we're gonna replenish with really good stuff, you know, filtered water, you know, herbal teas. We're going to put some really good stuff in. So let's do a little recap. Okay. One, <laughs> we're going to reclaim our power by clearing anything that we've absorbed that doesn't belong to us, any negative energy, anything that's just like lingering there on the surface. We're going to get rid of it. Okay. We're going to reconnect to who we are deep down inside our soul, the person we were meant to be, and we're going to reconnect to our purpose, okay? Then we're going to release stagnant energy by moving, going for a walk, going in the gym, doing some yoga, whatever it might be, we're going to release that stagnant energy. Then we're going to replenish. We're going to give the body some really good stuff to support it. It's going to support our body. It's going to support our mind, our soul, and our frequency, which is the most important thing. Okay. Then, now we're on point five. And point five is to research the energy around you, okay? We are impacted by the movements of the planet. We're impacted by the movements of the moon. We're impacted by all this stuff that is going on. And it creates an energy that you're not aware of. It creates nudges for you to react in a certain way, for certain things to come up to the surface in your mind. Maybe you're thinking about the future. Maybe you're thinking about um, a problem that you're trying to solve. Maybe you're, maybe people around you are a bit angsty today, right? Knowing what the energy is doing helps you to navigate your day because the purpose of your whole day is to be is to be aware of your frequency, to keep it at a really good level, because when you keep it at a really good level, you are magnetic to the life that you desire, okay? So researching that energy around you means that when someone else reacts in a certain way towards you, you don't have to feel defensive, take it personally or anything like that, because you'll be able to go, aha, that's that energy showing up. I'll just, let, I'll just leave them to it. I'll just leave them to it and I'll go over here and I'll continue being in my really good frequency. Okay. <laughs> but also, 
if you are feeling angsty, if there's things going on for you, you know, if you know that this is coming through because of universal energies and it's coming through to show you something, to bring something to your awareness, you know it's part of your evolution, you know it's part of your growth, you know it's part of your expansion, which actually really empowers you to resolve, to release, to overcome, to understand, okay? And the final part to really taking control of your energy in the morning, really stepping into your day as your most powerful self is to reactivate you. And what I mean by that is this, it's taking care of you. It's having a beautiful shower, using beautiful skincare, you put wearing a body lotion that makes you feel really like you've got beautiful, soft, smooth, amazing skin, okay? Putting on your skincare routine, taking care of your hair, doing your makeup, picking out the clothes that you want to wear. Now this is all really, really important because it improves your self-worth. It improves your sense of self. It improves this feeling of who you are. And so when we don't do those things, we can guess, we can feel a bit, <sighs> we catch sight of ourselves in the mirror when we haven't done our skincare or we haven't done our makeup or we haven't bothered with our hair. And it's like, oh, we know we are not in our full potential that day okay and that's not to say that you know this is like the spiritual army and you must be 100% disciplined and wear your makeup every day that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is when you catch sight of yourself and you know that today you are not living to your full potential that impacts energetically who you are now if you know that today you're not feeling 100%, today you're not feeling very well, and you're just gonna snuggle up in a hoodie, tie your hair back in a ponytail, do a bit of skincare, but that's it. And you catch sight of yourself in the mirror that day, you might look at yourself and go, oh God, I look a bit rough, but then I don't feel very well, right? You are still living to your full potential in that moment because you have lived to your full potential. You haven't forced yourself to do something that doesn't feel right and that feels too hard. You haven't hustled and ground your way through that. What you've done is you've lived to your full potential and that is about being self-led. That is about manic, kind of stepping into that power, owning who you are, bringing to life who you are in that moment. Okay, so reactivating yourself, you know, if it makes you feel amazing to wear nail varnish, wear the nail varnish, okay? Don't accept second best of yourself because when you accept second best of yourself, you subconsciously, to unconsciously tell yourself that you are not worthy of the effort, you're not worthy of the um, time, you're not worthy of, you're not worthy of wearing your best perfume today. You're not worthy. And the minute we get into those realms of not worthiness, we start to push back the things that we desire in your, in life. If you don't feel worthy, how can you feel worthy of receiving more wealth energy? If you don't feel worthy, how can you feel worthy of receiving more abundance, more energy, more time, more money, more love, more joy, more anything in your life? So it really is a case of doing this stuff to make you feel worthy of all that you are. So that is the six steps that I have in my morning routine. Now, is this ingrained in me yet? No, okay, that's partly what this video is. Partly what this video is for is to allow me to talk through it because as a self-projected projector, when I talk through it, when I share what I'm learning, I embody it even more. So this is probably really a video for me to embody this even more, but that said, there are six really key foundational points there if you wanna lead an energetic life. Now, I get it right? Maybe I don't get it. I get it. You're probably sat on the other end of this video going, oh my God, do you get up 
at like 2 a.m. in the morning to do all that. No, because you're making an assumption that when I meditate, it's 20 minutes. When I do this, it's 20 minutes. Most of these, these, these things, these activities, these disciplines, these practices that I do don't take me very long at all. Okay. And I know that when I talk morning routines with women, quite often it's kind of a case of <laughs> the kids, the kids, the kids. This is just another thing that if you want it in your life, you have to decide that you are going to have it. Now, this is not about you sitting back and being aware of all those limitations and, oh my God, well, I can't do that because I can't get up early and I can't do that because I don't have enough time in the morning and the kids are just going to do that and this and that. You are just creating those limitations around you, okay? What you have to do is you have to decide that this is the morning that you want, okay? And then you have to start leaning into that and not necessarily overcome it. Well, you will naturally overcome all those challenges, all those resist, all those limitations, all those reasons that you are resisting this. OK, but when you start to make this decision, when you decide, when you decide, I am going to use this and put this into my infinite purpose. So your infinite purpose is the purpose that rolls on. It rolls on. It rolls on. It rolls on. There's never an end. It's just that every day it gets better. OK, so it's a case of I am. I am living with this morning routine and every day it's going to get easier and more spacious and more powerful and I'm going to be more connected and it's going to be more beautiful and I'm going to be more committed and there's going to be more space and there's going to be more time and we can just build it from there instead of looking at this now, being overwhelmed and being like, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. If you want to commit to this, then make the decision and commit to this. Make the, set the infinite purpose, set the intention and allow it to build up from there. It doesn't have to be 100% tomorrow. It has to be a step, an evolution, a growth and allow it to grow, allow it to expand, allow your desire of wanting this kind of morning, of wanting the spaciousness, of wanting the time, allow it to all move and you will be amazed to see how life suddenly seems to fit around this and how this suddenly doesn't seem quite so hard. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was really useful. Please do drop me a message if you would like any kind of assistance. If you've got any questions, there's always the comments. I will keep my eye on this video and come back to you if you have any feedback whatsoever. See you soon.